Good morning, everyone. This is Sharon. Today, I would like to share with you this custom prayer journal I made for Jackie. On the outside, I made a closure from a sari silk ribbon, and then I just added a little piece of bling on the front as well to pretty it up a little bit. And then for the cover, I didn't realize how old this book was until I started working with it, but it is from, I believe it is 1857. I have the title page in here so we can take a look at that. But it's this really deep, um, I would say a deep teal color. And it's got a little bit of embossing on the front and some embossing on the spine and then again on the back. I just love that color. And I just embellished the top a little bit with a piece of lace. And then as we go on to the inside, for digitals in this journal, I primarily used um, the Prayer Religious Kit from Sam Poole. Um, she put that out recently, and I just love that kit. I love working with it. I think I used every image from there in this journal. Um, I also used some images from her Golden Brown and Autumn Kit, and that is where these inside cover um, page patterns come from. And I really like how that works with this kit as well. And then for the inside of the spine, I use this antique French textile. Some of the other um, artists that I use in here for digitals include Roxy Creations, Raindrop Lila, Medieval Mirage, and TaylorMade Journals. And I'll put links to all of their shops down below in the description. So on this first page, I added this piece of velvet and I did do some embossing on there. I'm, it, I don't know if you'll, the camera will pick it up, but um, I just, it adds a little bit to that piece. And then I just trimmed it with some lace. I used um, Roxy Creations plain background papers. And she calls them plain backgrounds, but they are the most gorgeous um paper patterns and I just love working with them and so I didn't want to do anything to cover this up but it would make a great page for writing on. I've incorporated some pages from some of my bird books and then here I also um, incorporated some old religious book um, papers as well as pages in the, the journal. So here for example is an old German book and I just created a shallow pocket on there and trimmed it with some old textile and a little bit of stitching on there. And then in there I made this rather large tag that I inserted. And I've got some Florentine paper from Rachel as my base. And then I just absolutely love this image from the Graphics Fairy. It's this nun in meditation on this bench and the colors are just beautiful in there. And then on the back, I just created this pocket and added an antique book page in there. On this page, I added this card from an old um, German book that I have. And there were several of these tucked inside, so I added that here along with a piece of Italian ephemera. And then here I just trimmed this page with a punched uh, straw paper piece. And this is actually a book page um, from a book that I have on architecture. And I just trimmed that up with these images. This is from a, one of um, Lorna Taylor's Taylor Made Journals um, digital kits. And I just punched the bottom of that so that makes a decorative edge on there. And then on this page for the side tuck, I just folded it back a little bit and did some decorative stitching on there. And then in there I tucked um, these little sheets that I put a, a little brad in the corner. But they can be used for some writing pieces. And then I've got this image from an old Bible. Tuck those in there. And then in this pocket, I've got this little journaling booklet. 
This is an image from Med Medieval Mirage. <laughs> I always have a problem saying that. <laughs> and then I just added some papers in there. I've also added these little tabs on the top. Jackie mentioned she's got some cards and things she wants to put in here, so I just added some extra little tuck spots where she can put things. And here's another tab at the bottom of this page. Here I just added some textiles and a little bit of slow stitching on there. And then here I created a fabric flip from this beautiful piece of linen. And that flips up with some writing space underneath. On this page I just added this... Um, little piece again that I found in an old religious book. And then here, um, I got a paper packed from Rachel recently and it had a straw paper envelope in it. And so I took that envelope and used that as my page and cut the side open so I could form a pocket. And I added some old book page images on each side. And then in there is where I tucked the um, title page from this book that I used and it's actually from 1852. I always like to keep the title pages if I can with the journal um, from the books that I use just so the person has kind of the history of the book. On this page I clipped this little full calling card that I made. Um, I've been doing um, a lot of matting of these recently. I just really enjoy that either with a piece of ribbon on the back or in this case I used a piece of paper with a ribbon image and then I just adhered it with a couple of eyelets and then I've got this lace image on the back side. Botanical book page. And then on this side of the page I've clipped on this image from a prayer book. Just made a journaling card with that. And then I've got this piece that I trimmed up at the top and it's just got some papers in there that can be used for writing. On this side, I've got a flip out. So I've got this pretty paper, lots of place for writing. And then that flips out this way. And then in the center, I added this pocket, and in there I inserted this old French letter. And it is dated 1887. Here is the other side of that uh, straw paper envelope, actually. What I did was take this book page um, and created a page, a square page with it, um, and just, you know, use the flap. I um, stitched the flap up in the middle to create two side pockets here on either side. Did a little bit of stamping on there. And then on this side, I turned it up to create a pocket. And then I just trimmed it up with this um, ribbon image. And then in there, I have this paper of the fruit with some stenciling on the back, and I just added a little stamp in the corner. And then back this with an image from a prayer book that I have. So then on this side, in these pockets, I've got some vintage prayer cards. I just added a little bit of textile in the corner of these. this one and then over on this side of the page I've got this corner tuck there again as a place for extra things to be tucked in on this page I just took this thin piece of kind of a netting with a little bit of embroidery on it and just use that as kind of a veil for this image. Put that over it and I added some lace on the top. Got this silk ruffle on the side. 
And I really love how these background pages from Roxy Creations pair with the images from Sam's kit. Um, the colors really go really nicely together. So in this pocket, um, I created this tag. So I've got um, a little bit of string on the top and this metal. And that string holds another piece on the back that can flip up and gives you some writing room on the back. And then this journal page is from one of the papers that I got from Rachel in the paper kit. And what I did was it was quite tall, so I folded it up to create a pocket, just kind of rolled it down to create this V-shaped pocket and added this paper button and then did some embossing on the background of that. I use these paper buttons a lot if you know, f follow me. They're from Tracy Fox, she's got a kit and I just love them. I use them everywhere I possibly can. I think they just add so much and they're very realistic looking. And then I just added this little label to the pocket on the bottom. And then on this side, the page flips out so you can kind of see the, the old um, writing in Italian. And I've also got this very narrow pocket here that is created from the flip. And I did some stenciling with some paste on there. And then I inserted this narrow little tag or bookmark. In this page, I just embellished a little bit with this wax seal and again, some fabrics. On this page, I created this top tuck, and then in there, I've got this little journaling piece. And it's kind of uh, another storage piece, so I created these little tucks on each side that you can use to store some treasures. And then over on this page, I have this little vintage prayer card that's French. And this um, page is from, it's called The Life of Christ. It's a, a really beautiful old book that I have. And I just folded that in on the edge and did some stamping to embellish that and then added a tab. This is what the inside of that page looks like. And then again, I folded the page over and did some stamping on there. And then I just attached a couple of Here's another one of those old French prayer cards. And then this is one that I embellished a bit. On this top tuck, I just stuck a couple pieces of vintage ephemera, this old photo of a garden. And then this vintage birthday card with the picture of the church on there. I thought that was pretty. Here's the other side of that book page from Italy. And then in there, again, I have this narrow tag. I used some of this dotted tissue paper. I believe it came in um, an order I had received recently. I thought that was pretty. And then here's the other side of um, that piece in another pocket where I did some stenciling again. And then here's the card that I've gotten there. In the back of this, I made a couple of double doors and a little closure and those open up. Some vintage music paper on the inside and then a little writing spot. I embellished this page with a beautiful piece of lace. And then here I created a side tuck um, and added this little stitched piece along the side for an embellishment. And then in there, I've got this little journaling card. And then this beautiful old piece of ledger. I just love it. It's very brown and it's got this beautiful brown um, writing on it. And I believe it's from the 1920s. I have another piece in here that has the date on it.
here I created this little pocket with some of that polka dotted tissue paper. I gave it a little bit of a wax treatment. It does strengthen it a bit. And um, the other half of it is actually a page, but here I tucked it under, I took the page here, flapped it in, um, punched the side of it, and then glued this down to create this little kind of very wide belly band or pocket in the middle of the page. And then in there, I tuck this tag. And I just like the way you can see the image right through the tissue paper. Got a cluster on the top of this page with some pretty fabrics and a wax seal. And then on this page, I've got this little booklet that I made. So I've got a corner tuck there with this card that I made to go in there. And then I sort of made this into one of those fabric samplers. So um, I attached some wool pieces and then just some little linen pieces with numbers stamped on them. Place to write. This is an old um, prayer book page. And then on the back again, some fabric. In the center of the signature, I created a couple of pockets and added some stamping along the bottom. And then the side flap again has um, this image from TaylorMade Journals. And then in there I've got on each side a couple of journaling cards. And what I did was I created this top layer, it's separate from the bottom, and I just attached those with some rusty stick pins and then layered that with some cheesecloth. And I did that for both of these. And then I've got some coffee dyed paper on the back and just some wool fabric tabs on those. Here I've got just a narrow little flip out and in there I tucked this vintage piece of ephemera from 1945 and a piece of wallpaper that can easily be used to write on in the back side. And then on this page, again, I punched the edge and in there I tucked this journaling spot. The back is this beautiful image of a 1925 Holy Communion certificate. And then there's room to write on the back. Here's the other side of that tissue paper that I used as a page. I just like the way it lays over the printing in the background. Here I created a pocket and embellished with some lace. And this is one of my all-time favorite um, fabrics. It's like an old um, kind of a tapestry piece. I don't have a whole lot of it left, just a little bit. <laughs> and then in there I tuck this piece um, with some writing room on the back. Embellish that on the top and the bottom a little bit. And then on this side it has this beautiful um, patterns. In this page I embellished with this um, fabric. It matched perfectly with the blues in there. Here I used an envelope in the paper pack that I got from Rachel. Um, and I turned it inside out, which I like to do with envelopes, and it had this beautiful blue color on the inside of the envelope that I kind of associate this color with Mary. So I put this picture of Jesus and Mary on the inside. And then on this side for the flap area, I just created this little... Um, kind of tie in so we can keep things in there. So it flips this way, that's the flap from the envelope, and then this was the extra part. I didn't need the full length of it, so I brought that up as a pocket. And in there, I created this little tag. And what I did was embellish this image a bit, like up in this area, and then around the edge with some gold paint. And then I also did a little bit of gold paint on the back as well. Okay. 
here I love how this pocket turned out it's a double pocket um, so this page I brought up is the shallow part so this front piece can have something tucked in there and then I added this book page for the second layer of the pocket and just did a little bit of stenciling on there and just tucked a few miscellaneous pieces in that pocket some medieval mirage images did a little stenciling in there this is a book page from the Psalms of David book that I have and then this is just an off cut from one of those old um, postcard albums but I just love the color and the pattern on that piece Here's the other side of that envelope, and I just have the little shallow pocket on this side. And I lined the back, if you saw on the other side, I lined the back with this beautiful paper from Sam. And then I add, put in there this journaling card. So on the paper clip, I just um, use this kind of a tan brown colored tool with some dots on there. And this actually is, um, I think like a trifold, yeah. And this is the other piece of that old um, ledger paper that I was talking about from 1920. So that just folds in like that and put this um, label on the back side. On this side of that envelope page, I just took a piece of that um, old album and created a tuck and then in there I just put a piece of vintage book page that can be used for writing and then I had to use some of my new Amity Bloom tape <laughs> I was able to snag some this time around so I was pretty excited about that and then here I created a fabric po pocket again with some of that beautiful blue linen and embroidered piece and then in there I added this little journaling piece so I stuck some sari silk in there and created a couple of um, little eyelets to hold the ribbon and this outside image is from Medieval Mirage and then the inside has some writing space you can also use it to tuck some things in as well And that takes us to the back page. I've just got another little embellishment on the bottom of that page. And I did forget to mention on the center of this signature, I've got a cross and another little metal. And then in the center signature, I did add some beads on the bottom of that one as well. So that takes us to the end of this journal. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. I am immersing myself into Christmas for the next few weeks. So I think the next few journals that I will bring to you will be Christmas journals. So until then, bye-bye.